polskiej łodziolosti i równi. Oho, czy obraz? Spot was, pisze z mami za All these women, they have been facing so many challenges due to war or other violations. Their women in Afghanistan are really too strong. Women always face a problem in Afghanistan. We should change the situation for the women and girls. When Taliban came in Afghanistan, I was in sex class. We just stayed at home because they didn't permit to go outside. On that time, no teacher to come to our house to taught us because we didn't have more money. When the Taliban government finished, I go back to school. I forgot my writing. I'm very disappointed and I'm very sad. again and they help me. Uh, day by day my writing get well and then I finished my school. I joined college and I want to become a good teacher. We can do everything if we have a good team. If we do our work honestly, we can do everything like another country. I don't think Taliban come back, but I afraid because maybe sometimes they come back and we face problem. Because of that, I don't want to you record my face. Most of the women, uh, they, are, they are not properly aware of their rights. Because of that, most of the time, they are abused by others. What rights don't they know of? For example, they have the right to work, they have the right to be educated. This is the right of everybody as a human being. If I share one story, during the, the Taliban, when I started as a doctor, 
When I came to my house, there was two patients waiting for me. Somebody knocked my door very, very, very hard. They asked, there is a woman. He came alone with a taxi. I asked, I was that woman. What are you going to do with me? They asked me, why you came alone to this taxi? Just they, they, uh, they cut a, um, uh, a um, steak from the tree and beat the woman. Even still, you know, this gender equality is a cross-cutting issue in Afghanistan. There is many cultural restrictions for women. They are not the decision maker even in their own life. I'm not expecting any immediate change, but it takes time. You hope? I hope. Uh, I am going bazaar and buying some things for fashion for me and for my sisters too. She is an engineering faculty and she needed, I think. My father doesn't have any problem with this. Oh, it's so funny. Someone asked me, oh, your father is a big man and he is directing the other people. Why he didn't say anything to you for your makeup? I said, I don't know why. My brothers also doesn't, don't have any problem with us. But my uncle has some problem. Yeah? Yes. Because he has gels. Do you know gels? Yes, gels. He has gels, I think. Hmm. No problem for me. <laughs> In Afghanistan, women and men, they are one. The men in Afghanistan want to say, oh, I can decide for you. I want to take you. I want to get him marry you. And you must get him marry me because I want it. I want to uh, give you divorce. You must take you divorce because I want it. The men of Afghanistan thinking this kind. They are thinking this kind. But it's very good, I think. One day, when me and my two sisters and my friend we were walking, a boy came and held me oh, very badly. I had a notebook in my hand. It was very, very big. Uh, I had it. I had him with this notebook, and I said, "Oh, be careful." He's thinking I could touch her, and she must not say anything because oh, she was Verka. So in America, mm -hmm. when I walk down the street mm -hmm. and I see a guy, I say, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> no, that's not okay in Afghanistan. Why? Because it's our culture. They, they learned it from the first when they were small. The girls? Yes, the girls or the boys. Thank you. Thank you. I think when my father chose some person for getting married for me, I would not have any problem with him. I saw, I saw a big garden. Miss Nazaki, Astavro? My father, my brothers, my sister's husband. Wife. I want that kind of guy. <laughs> The bomb she has printed, she, uh -huh. has, she does the pr printing on there. And also, we have the name of Bal. Uh -huh. the, the, the province. Uh -huh. One of the provinces in the north. Yeah. They're nice, they're like really stupid. Yeah. <laughs> they're nice. <laughs> they're nice. We have two, so these are all the printings that has been done by Asina. This? Yeah. yeah. All of these Have printings, wow, they have been done by her. Bye. She's very good at printing and also at preparing sample balls. Made by Afghan women. That's awesome. Hello. I run a small company producing soccer balls. 
I have 20 employees, men and women. You know that in Afghanistan, sometimes people think that it's very difficult, especially for women, to do anything. And I also had the same idea, but after starting my own business, I feel so much happy, I feel encouraged, and I feel very powerful that, okay, as an Afghan woman, I'm also able to do something. And I'm sure that one day I can compete with other businesses. Mm -hmm. yeah. and the color. My daughter also loves playing the soccer ball. Yeah, you think she'll become a soccer player? <laughs> yeah, she knows. It's difficult to manage business, work, and also take care of the baby. Uh, especially when she was, uh, she was very young, like two, three months. It was difficult to leave her at home and go for work all the day. But I manage because it's not just the case with me, it's with everyone. Every working mother has the same problem. Do you think things are getting better for women in Afghanistan? I think so. Since the collapse of Taliban, there have been quite significant changes and we are happy with that. It takes time because a country cannot be built in one or two days or one or two years. For building a country, it's not the responsibility of only men, it's, it's responsi uh, responsibility of every individual to just contribute to the economical growth of the country. When the Taliban came, I was 17. We went to Pakistan, Karachi city, we lived there for almost seven years. It was very difficult being a refugee. We had to live in poverty. When we came back, we had to start our life from zero. It was very difficult, but still we are happy that we returned back to our work.